Today, I will be going through the setup process of the Easy Gateway Mobus to Backnet. The default IP address is 192.168.2.101. You can also use a field server toolbox to discover the IP of the gateway. The field server toolbox can be downloaded from our website, www.sierramonitor.com. This is the landing page of the Easy Gateway. The Settings tab is where you will set up the Easy Gateway. The About tab shows the versions and contact info. The Field Pop tab is used to register this gateway to SMC Cloud for remote access. The Backnet Explorer tab opens up an app that allows you to browse Backnet IP and MSTP networks. The Diagnostic tab is used for troubleshooting. The Gateway section of the Settings tab is used to assign a title to the gateway change the IP address, and enable a password. The connection section is for setting up the Modbus and Backnet connection. For this example, I will use Modbus RTU and Backnet IP. I disabled the unused connection. After updating, click on the Save button and the Restart button. The next step is to create a profile for your Modbus device. The profile will map Modbus registers to Backnet objects. In order to create the profile, you need the register list of the Modbus device. In this example, I will be mapping a few points from a gas sensor. Assign a name to the profile and click on the Edit Profile button. On the Device Settings tab, you need to specify which type of Mobus addressing will be used. Appendix B.4 of the Easy Gateway Startup Guide explains the differences between each address type. In this points list, the addresses are in Modicon 5-digit format. Some Mobus devices require function code 15 or 16. To enable this, click on the Enable Write Multiple checkbox. You can also enable or disable COV, which is change of value notifications in BACnet. The Data Map tab is where the Modbus registers are mapped to BACnet objects. The first block of registers are 40001 to 40002. The data type is holding register, the functions read continuously, Link 2 for two consecutive registers. With link 2, you have two offsets to work with, 0 and 1. Offset 0 is 40,001, and offset 1 is 40,002. Put in the object name, the object type, object instance, and the unit. For the concentration point, that needs to be divided by 10. The scaling is done in the advanced section. The temperature point has units in Celsius and also needs to be divided by 10. I'll be converting this to Fahrenheit. There is no predefined scaling for dividing Celsius by 10, then converting to Fahrenheit, so you will need to click on this Show Scaling Parameters button to specify your own scale. 500 divided by 10 is 50, converted to Fahrenheit is 122. 1000 divided by 10 is 100, converted to Fahrenheit is 212. The next block of registers is 40,003 through 40,006. Four consecutive registers, put length four, so you have data offset zero through three to work with. These are writable points, so make sure to use a writable object type. You can specify inactive and active text for their binary points. Warning set point uses the same scaling as a concentration along with the alarm set point. The next point is a 32 bit register split across two 16 bit registers. You need to use a data type of 32 bit reg which with a length of 1, and that will automatically combine the two 16 bit integers into a 32 bit integer. The next point has state text. You need to use object type multi-state value. Then you need to define a state table. A value of one equals percent LEL and a value of two equals percent VOL. After the state table is created, specify that state table in the advanced section. The last point is a bitmap. There are multiple bits mapped in this 60-bit integer. 
to map the bit to a backed object, go to the advanced section and click on enable under bit extraction, then specify the bit offset. Module state in calibration failed is hex 40, which converts to binary bit number 6. Module state in calibration passed is hex 20, which converts to binary bit number 5. Module state in calibration is bit 4, trouble is bit 3, warming is bit 2, run alarm is bit 1, and run is bit 0. To save the profile, click on the save icon on the bottom left. The next step is to use the profile in the device proxy section. Specify which Modbus and backend connection, specify the Modbus device address, the backend device instance, and the backend device name. Make sure to click on the Save and Restart button. There is an alternate way to create the profile using an Excel spreadsheet. Click on the Download Excel Profile Generator link to download the spreadsheet to your computer. Make sure to enable editing and enable content. These are the same points that we mapped earlier in this video. Click on the Generate Profile button to create the profile and import into the Easy Gateway. Now the second profile can be used in Device Proxy. And this concludes the Easy Gateway setup video. I hope you found this useful.